there is a growing need of halal products in the market due to the increase in the total Muslim population and increased consumer awareness on the quality of halal food. Halal is no longer a mere religious obligation or observance, but is considered as the standard of choice for Muslim as well as non-Muslim worldwide. Among the younger adults, body image concern, dieting, education about food and eating with family and peers are among factors that affect their food choices. However, little is known about halal components and other determinants of food selection among the Muslim and non-Muslim consumers in Malaysia. Healthy food choice comprising of halal and toyiban component can be associated with long-term healthy management of weight and that is crucial for disease prevention in the future. Driven by the university's initiative to become global halal centre in Malaysia, researchers from Faculty of Health and Life Sciences initiated the intervention programme on 1st September 2016. The programme involved a total of 82 students from BNT and BFST program with the objective to increase awareness on halal related issues not just for the Muslim students in MSU. I acquire a deeper understanding regarding specific halal issues. For example, I was assigned to present a topic entitled Malaysian Halal Certificate which explains the process of getting a halal certificate and logo. This definitely helps me in my daily life in identifying halal establishment when eating outside or using certain products. The knowledge obtained is very beneficial if I want to pursue my career in the halal field. I'm able to categorize which food are under halal and haram and I'm looking forward to share the knowledge that I learned to my non-Muslim friends. I get to know that not only Malaysia Halal Logo are certified in Malaysia, there are also few others that are certified by Dake, for example China, Australia, India and many more. It is a good opportunity for us to increase awareness and understanding of Halal practice. I learned the reason of things being Halal and Haram logically and scientifically, but not to follow it blindly. I learned that Halal food has a specific criteria in preparation and condition. For example, pork is generally known as non-halal and chicken is known as halal food. However, if the slaughtering is not done properly according to the halal procedure, which is the slaughtering through the neck, it will not be considered as halal. From halal program, I gained the knowledge and details on current certification issues arise in Malaysia because halal is not only about substances that are permissible but also about cleanliness and purity.